Oh, and we're live. We're live. Oh. Yay. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. I haven't done this. I I've missed two episodes, guys. I'm so sorry. I was sick. But very excited for tonight. We're live again. We're live again. And this time it's the evening because this is a very special occasion for us. We're not only celebrating our 13th birthday, but we're also releasing we're our... We're a teenager now. We're a teenager, yeah. <laughs> it's 13. It's our 13th birthday and we're releasing our big fashion issue for 2019. So mm -hmm. welcome to Illustrato Go Live. This episode of Illustrata Go is being done in collaboration with Emirates Airline, Kaya Skin Clinic, and of course our host. Of course, we're here in the very. This is my, always, my favorite this place. This is your you home know? on this, Thursdays. This is basically my home <laughs> on Thursdays, Fridays, basically the weekend. Um, we're here in Barbary Dalian Cocktail Club, here in, in the Dubai. Depth of Al Barsha. At Trip Windham yeah. Hotel, yes. which is a very, very nice place, very naughty place. So, thank you, Barbary, for hosting us tonight. And of course, yeah, we'll say thank you to our sponsors now. Welcome to Emirates, Mr. Jones. Just sit back, relax, and let us entertain you. With over 4,000 channels of entertainment, including the latest movies and box sets from around the world. We even have live sports and news channels. And your free Wi-Fi will start shortly. Enjoy your flight, Mr. Jones. World's best in-flight entertainment. Fly Emirates. Fly better.
I'm Lelaine Chubinitas, Editor-in-Chief here at Illustrado Magazine, and this is... Hi, I'm Ali Valerosa, I'm the Features Editor of Illustrado Magazine. Hashtag Goosebumps. <laughs> Hashtag under <that. laughs> They must be wondering why we're dressed like this, because we're going to be having a party later on, and the theme is Strike a Pose, mm -hmm. and everything is happening with the support of our friends, of course, from Emirates Airline, from Kaya Skin Clinic, Barbary Deli and Cocktail Club, and of course, our supporters, House of Zen, Niche Modeling Agency, Wilhelmina Dubai, Haiku D Photography, Lighthouse Studio, and of course, for my dress, the lovely Angel Villar de Jesus. Thank you very much for the custom piece. Mm -hmm. And Strawberry Hair's <laughs> hair, sorry, and nails. Strawberry Hair and Nail Salon, Chris Leningning and Anne. Thank you guys for always taking care of me. Okay, so yeah. since it's we're our doing, it's our birthday, we're, as I said earlier, we're a teenager right now. Illustrado is now a teenager officially, so we're um, 13 years old. Yeah. So what are you most excited about tonight? Well, we're very excited because this is a night that we get to share with our closest friends mm -hmm. in the business. Um, we're going to be having some 200 from our closest circle in the fashion industry here in the in the mm -hmm. UAE. Fashion and, and the creative industry. The fashion and the creative industry. And we feel very, very fortunate to be supported by such yeah. big talents and such kind people. So you're going to see some of them later and fashionable. on. fashionable. The and most fashionable crowd, I, I think. The most fashionable crowd in Dubai. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, bar none. It's going to so. gather in one place mm -hmm. tonight. So we're, we're definitely very excited with that. And speaking about very fashionable people, our magazine issue also oh September. Oh my God, let's not forget. Not to forget, yeah. That's our big, big fashion issue, which has over 100 of the hottest international mm -hmm. Filipinos in fashion from designers photographers to models mm. around the world and let's not forget because this is not the only cover that we have because we have yes another one <laughs> yeah illustrate has always been known to put a spotlight on uh, not only just the up-and-coming uh designers mm -hmm. out there but really the ones to watch because we have so many talented filipino fashion designers mm -hmm. and we're going to show you some of them these are the names that you should be looking for in the market. Of course, we already know about Michael Cinco, Ezra Santos, and Fern Amato, One, yeah. Amato, the holy trinity of Filipino fashion out there. But it's great to know these other Filipino designers. And, you know, just a week ago, we had a very lovely shoot with yes. them, Alvi, right? Oh my God, that's so good. We can't wait to show you exactly. what happened in that shoot because, like, even I was like, it's hands down, it's so amazing. And let's not forget, Mm -hmm. The um, creative director for that shoot is Michael Cinco. The one right? and only Michael Cinco um, headed the shoot as a creative director. Guys, mm -hmm. you just have to see it. Such amazing um, output talent, from, from that day. Talent, fabulosity. So here it comes. This is Candy Couture. Thank you. 
before we talk about our previous uh, shoot, mm -hmm. you know, Candy Couture, which is an 80s throwback, let's just acknowledge all the people who have helped us make the shoot possible. Yes, because it wouldn't be possible without these amazing talents. It's a, it's quite a long list, mm -hmm. so bear with me. Bear I'm with us, read them. Yeah. Um, of course, thank you so much for um, the beautiful, beautiful creations of Ishka Zeta, Garamond Roferos, Harvey Senet, Ryan Pacioles, Angel Villar mm -hmm. de Jesus, and Ronan Cabrito Opina. Right. And of course, for credits, producer for this um, fashion shoot is Mon Benitez, creative director Michael Cinco, photographer the fabulous Rosen Antonio. Mm -hmm. And of course, thank you to the hair and makeup, Valentino Montuerto, Jaja Rivera, Mal Piodena, Ivy Caperalta, and Darwin Perez. And models, we have Paulina and Sandra of Wilhelmina Dubai. Thank you very much, uh, Mike, Michael Gomez. Bruna, Gigi, Elena, Eduardo, and Adam of Niche Modeling Agency. Special thanks to Glitzy Rania Robles, who's going to be joining us later on. Of course, Ingrid Auriada and Amir Shan Kaiser of Niche Modeling Agency. And of course, like I said again earlier, Wilhelmina Dubai. Mm -hmm. And also, um, of course, the, the production team, Miss Roni Aquino, our Capitana, um, <laughs> Paolo Benitez, and yes. Antonina Benitez made things possible. Production support of Chris Diamond and Ace Agario, and it was shot on location at Lighthouse Studio in Dubai. Well, thank you for being with us here tonight, guys. I, I just have to say that Saying thank you to people is such an important mm -hmm. part. I, I'm, of I'm, I, what I got we distracted because I see really? people coming and they're dressed up. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna see them walk the runway later on. But like I was saying earlier, Al, we thanking people is so so key for us because we wouldn't be here where we mm -hmm. are today exactly. had it not been for the help of you know such talented and really um, are we gonna cry? very oh generous <laughs> and kind folks. We're gonna cry later We're gonna on. Cry but later on, postpone yeah. your tears. Now let's talk about these um, designers. Our ones to watch this mm -hmm. year. First of all we have Ishka Zeta. Mm -hmm. Ishka Zeta is not only one of the most fabulous fashionable folks out there mm -hmm. so if you see him in person he's really some somebody that you know, he's he, a character a very very interesting character he's a very interesting character but his designs are so grand mm -hmm. last year he had a standing ovation in Paris yes Alvin. I've seen I've seen the I've seen the photos from mm -hmm. his show it's amazing it's amazing of course we have Ryan uh, Ryan Pacioles who is the mm -hmm. creative director of Atelier Zuhura and Atelier Zuhura has risen so much from the first time they debuted at Fashion Forward in 2017. Mm -hmm. And I was there, I covered I covered his show exactly. and meeting him for the first time, seeing his creation for the first time live, it's just amazing. And they've, he, he's gone such a long mm -hmm. way. They've staged, He's done Russia. He's done Russia, he's done Paris and uh, London Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. um, did we say Russia, yeah? Yes. He, he's done also Russia and there's so much to watch from uh, Ryan Pacioles. Of course, Harvey Senate is there. Mm -hmm. He's a very well-known designer here also in the UAE. He has become a go-to go designer in mm -hmm. the last five years. And his signature is very feminine. And I like the way, uh, you know, uh, the way he views the Harvey Senate woman. He says that the Harvey Senate woman is like an orchid. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need bees to pollinate it. You know, just like a woman doesn't need a man to be feminine and powerful. Yes. <laughs> I, I love that philosophy, really. Mm. And then you have... And then, of course, we also have Gary Monroferos. <laughs> Gary Monroferos, again, wonderful, uh, you know, talent. He's been leading the bridal mm -hmm. shows lately, and he's very famous in the region. And I think he's done, um, he's dressed up a lot of celebrities also from Hollywood oh, yeah, and yeah. Bollywood. Definitely. Yeah. Hollywood, Bollywood. And he says that one of the highlights of his career was being able to dress the first granddaughter of President Rodrigo Duterte. Mm. So yes, that's for the, uh, trivia the debut, for you. Yeah. yeah. Who else do we have? Next, we have also Angel Villar. Mm. Now, Angel Villar, who so kindly made this custom dress for me. Thank you once again, Angel. She's very well known for celebrating the female form. Yes. And again, a very young designer. And, uh, you know, Angel was telling me that one day when, uh, you know, he, he's got his beachfront in Palawan and mm -hmm. he can sit there with his dogs and his family and cl close friends, yeah. that's when he will feel he's made it. Angel mm. loves to travel, so a lot of his collections are inspired by his travels also. And then, of course, we had Renan Cabrito Opinia. Yes, we, we've, we've talked about um, the femininity, mm -hmm. like the, the forms of women. Now and you we, talk about... We talk about the, the menswear also. Definitely. So, Renan is uh, such an expert in that. In fact, he has been working in the atelier of Michael Cinco for the last seven years. 
and he has helped shape all the menswear that are coming from Atelier Michael Cinco. Mm -hmm. And Renan tells us that his, um, you know, his aspiration is for the classic, but always reinventing it with new colors, you know, vivid hues and new textiles and new silhouette. Um, it's, sorry, a, new it, it's a classic fabrics, yeah. with a modern take. It's classic with a modern take. And he says that his muse is Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. So, you know, classic, but very fresh, always young and always very contemporary. So, guys, please check out these designers. We're going to be uploading their profiles on our website very soon. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be hearing so much more about these designers yeah. in the, so, you know, in the months to come. Yeah, don't forget to follow and subscribe if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. Check out our stories. We're going to be releasing all of these in our digital platforms. So, if you're... Um, interested in fashion or just want to read about these amazing people and mm -hmm. their stories just go for it we'll put it out there definitely and by the way we're going to be uploading digital link of our magazine uh you know together with this post and you can also order this because this is like a collector's mm. you know for, for somebody who loves fashion especially from the filipino community this is the book that you have to keep on an annual basis mm -hmm. so we're going to be sharing those links with you later on and again for this issue we're not just talking about designers we're talking about the 100 hottest um mm -hmm. fashion models and yeah. photographers also from around the world but let's clarify this because we're going to go into couture now mm -hmm. the designers that we have included in this issue are the ones who are relevant outside of philippines yes so they might be based in the philippines in the uae in the u.s or any other country but they have done something to impact other countries they other have taken than the, the global homeland. stage exactly they have taken the filipino brand yeah. you know out there to the world so mm -hmm. we're very proud to share them with you and yeah let's start this is our first batch of designers <laughs>
Well, thank you guys if you just joined, uh, you know, joined us tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's the dark. It's the dark. <laughs> it's the dark, especially the people from Asia who have stayed up there. Mm -hmm. Gino Aldocente in Hong Kong. We miss you, Gino. Come over and visit us one of these days. Of course, we have Rian Miranda in Saudi Arabia, Samira Quintanilla, C.L. Trasmano, Juni Sorsano, Eric Mignoza, who's in the Philippines right now, Lance Japor, Les Fiestan from Saudi, Mario Cardenas. And of course, we also have people from Manila in the Philippines who are Hello, watching. Manila. Hi to Abby Yap, James Paul from the Philippines. Designer MJ. James Paul, yeah. Suyan. Suwayan. Suwayan. The international um, photographer, yeah. MJ. Thank you for joining um, us. Suyan Ver Vergara, Franny Makinay, Ruben Santos, and Christopher, Christopher D.C. Vene Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Thank you for butchering the names. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yet again. But thank you guys for joining us. It's, it's a really amazing thing to look at the work of these you know these very very talented mm -hmm. filipino designers of course you already know the the holy trinity of filipino fashion yes uh you know we've we've coined that term last year with with those three designers michael ezra and uh amato amato for an one of course ryan pasholas who we've talked about angel mm -hmm. villar de jesus Garamon Roferos is here. Jeff Albea is here. Jeff Albea also. Ignacio Loyola. Harvey's. Ignacio Loyola. We'd like to see even more from Ignacio Loy of Loyola course. because he has these edgy designs, mm -hmm. which I really, really like. And, uh, you know, there's so much out there, guys. If you know of a designer who's doing something very impactful out there abroad, anywhere outside the Philippines, mm -hmm. please do share the information with us, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll be more than happy to look at their profiles and pr perhaps share it with the rest of our community out there. And I guess that takes us to our next uh, batch of couture designers from around the world. Mm of our very talented mm. designers and I really like Francis Liberan's uh, designs there yes and yeah from one creative bunch to another fashionable person <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put you on the spot it's hard, now it's hard to miss it's hard to Joseph miss Joseph uh, walking outfits? walking from a mile away before you acknowledge the you know the talented designer and and I pointed out your your lovely custom suit oh, guys this is Joseph Alcantara who heads marketing communications for Emirates airline and we're so thankful that Emirates has always supported us through the years Joseph so thank you very much for your you know for your kind support and vote of confidence of course thank you very much Lynn Alwi uh, again it's like Last year was just, just like, like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it's been um, a year ago. Exactly. <laughs> it's been a year. But I'm Time so flies, happy yeah. um, that Illustrado is celebrating its 13th mm -hmm. year anniversary. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. Teenagers. Again. Teenagers. 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 <laughs> Teenagers. Um, and I'd like to take this opportunity to, you know, to, to reciprocate the love as well. Because Aww, you've mentioned at the end of so the day, much. 
the reason why we are here, mm -hmm. uh, a representation of Emirates, is that we celebrate the Filipino talent. We Thank celebrate you. the narrative and the success of what you know what the Filipinos can bring as well. That's why Definitely, we support yeah. this community very Thank you much. so much. Yeah. Talking about Emirates Airlines as the premier, really, I, I have to say the premier airline out there, and you guys are always on point, on brand, and it's, um, what's the slogan, Alwi? Fly better. Fly better, fly yeah, fly, fly better. better. What, what's happening with Emirates Airlines right now that really changes the flying experience? Because for Emirates, I think for us at the end of the day, we always look at ways to enhance the customer experience. Mm -hmm. uh, wherever they go in the world, every time that they use our, our use our service or uh -huh. go into our aircraft, they should feel the difference when it comes to um, the experience being really better at the mm -hmm. end of the day. So regardless of the class, whether you fly economy, mm -hmm. business or first, you would see that we have um, the modern aircraft mm -hmm. and the fleet of the A380s and mm -hmm. the V777s, um, which makes it really very different mm -hmm. um, another thing would be every time you fly with us you're um, you're you have the window to more than 4,500 channel of wow. entertainment and then that's why we really don't <laughs> sleep anymore yeah, exactly you don't sleep on the flight <laughs> exactly definitely yeah and then you have the biggest screen in the sky mm -hmm. that will allow you to really look at you know, you know different movies and mm -hmm. watch your uh, favorite TV shows mm -hmm. and we also have um, Wi-Fi complimentary as well and then we have the of course the onboard lounge and the shot wear spa mm -hmm. um, and then right now we've also advanced our technology because when you download the um, the Emirates app um, you can see the wayfinder to different parts um, of the airport wherever you oh, go in the wow. world that's very useful you, yeah exactly before you even land oh, wow. onto the I airport see. that's very nice and the other thing as well is always get lost exactly yeah. <laughs> you're always lost <laughs> and then we also have this um, playlist that yeah. you can set up before mm -hmm. your flight so when you land on the you know on the seat of your of the aircraft, you can just plug really? and play really? because you can prepare your playlist before you go on board. You're making it difficult for us to sleep. Even, even the <laughs> I want to sleep, Joseph. <laughs> exactly. exactly. But it's it's really great. Now I know that you yourself you're a wanderluster. You love traveling. You love getting lost out there. What are the new hot destinations? And do you have any promotions happening in the future? Mm. I yeah. think for now, um, this year, we announced one of um, the newest destinations that mm -hmm. we will be flying to in um, December 9, mm -hmm. and it's in Mexico. Mexico wow, City. Mexico. So it's a very oh, that's a interesting, totally different flavor. Exactly. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, now that we're in the middle of the world in mm -hmm. Dubai, so I think my advice to, especially to the mm -hmm. Filipinos, like mm -hmm. take advantage of where we are. Yes. You're in the middle of the world. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's exactly. The best place to come from. Because even most, um, like, most places are close by. Like exactly. Europe is what, three, four or five hours exactly. away. Exactly. Right? So mm -hmm. if you're going to go to Europe, for example, mm -hmm. I would suggest um, Cyprus or Malta mm -hmm. or even Greece and mm -hmm. um, Italy as well. And then Africa, this is a perfect time to experience the Great Migration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's like wow. a real life Lion King, for mm -hmm. example, yeah. will experience that. July to December will be the perfect time to go there. And of course, the Americas, you would yeah. have the Brazil, the US, mm -hmm. um, even Chile, for example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those would be my, you know, suggestions when it comes to, you know, uh, fulfilling your wanderlust. So it's and really, for Filipinos, yeah. um, most of the American, uh, Latin American countries, we don't need a visa, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Brazil, so for one, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Easy days, peasy. Yeah. Yeah. Pack your bags and that's it. Jump, uh, jump into an Emirates airline. And Joseph, I have one last question because I know you're big into fashion and it's always hard traveling. How do we keep ourselves jet setting real mm -hmm. when we travel? Well, so that you know we don't look like something the cat or the cat cat just dragged in you know when you <laughs> exactly. land at your destination so how do you keep yourself always composed and fresh when you travel for me it's a combination of comfort function and mm -hmm. style so combine all those three together you're set mm -hmm. for me because you know that you'll be spending like say for example at least four hours mm -hmm. in the aircraft. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you wear something light, wear mm -hmm. something comfortable that you can sleep and sit and then go to the lounge, for example, mm -hmm. and hang out with friends. But also be functional. At the end of the day, where if you're flying for business, mm -hmm. right, or for work, make sure that you know you wear something that's you know wrinkle-free or when you arrive at the destination, wouldn't be uh, would still be polished. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, be fashionable. At the end of the day, it's your of way course. to express yourself. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And you're in the sky, so take yeah. that. 
yeah. as an opportunity to I be mean, fashionable as well. You know, just Very because you're place, traveling, yeah. it doesn't mean that you're going to be going in a tracksuit or something. Mm. Okay, no, <laughs> no disrespect to anybody, but you know, let's. But it's fine. That's yeah, fine. Let's you can even wear pajamas. <laughs> as long as they're stylish. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about the style, Joseph. Suit by. This is Jaggy Glarino. Hey, Jaggy, if you're listening right now, we love your designs. We'd like to see more of them, yeah? I'm actually quite excited because Jaggy is one of your featured designers. Of course, yeah. Um, Jaggy is originally from General Santos City mm -hmm. in the Philippines, and he's won the bench design um, competition, I think, in 2017 or 16. Yeah. Very talented Missouri. guy. Exactly. And I love his edgy designs. Exactly. You know, not everybody does what he does. So. It's really amazing. And exactly. uh, yeah, thank you very much again, Joseph, for joining so us much, tonight Elaine. and thank for you your so support. Much. Of course. Maraming of course. maraming thank salamat. Yeah? Thanks, Elaine. Thanks, Alvin. And, and yes, <laughs> we continue on with a fashion with our Pret a Porter designers. <laughs> So guys, we're running through quickly, um, you know, through our designers mm -hmm. tonight, but we're going to be uploading their profiles very soon. So please do watch out for that. There's so much, you know, for, for us to find out from these designers who are mm -hmm. all over the world. And you want to mention some names, Yeah, Ali? Um, you, you've seen the designs of Abel, Abel Bacudio, Bacudio, Love Happy you, Ave Abel. Andrada. Happy Andrada. And of course, um, um, Joseph Alc Alcantara's designer tonight. Jaggy Glarino, Jaggy Glarino. yes. Beautiful designs from Jaggy. Rick Rassos was also there. We Bessie have... Bessie Besana, yeah. mm -hmm. CJ Martin. We have the designers from the U.S. also. Alexis Monsanto, David Tupas. 
we have Charina Sarte, who's based in France. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, you know, our designers are really all over the globe, And right? not just by the birthday, I think, I, I think they've also seen some accessory designers like Herminio Tan, yeah. Bea and, Valdez, yeah. and like, of course, um, one of the more popular bag designer from the Philippines, um, Amina Aranas. Amina Aranas, which we're gonna show later on. And guys, if you're in any of these cities like London, Vancouver, Paris, and you're into fashion, and just recently Lao, right? Please do watch out because chances are there will be a Filipino designer showing their stuff on the runway. So mm -hmm. always keep that in mind because our designers are everywhere. It's not only here in the Middle East. They're also in the U.S. They're in Canada, in France, Torino Sarte, of course, mm -hmm. in Southeast Asia. So please do watch out and support our designers, right? And before we go to our next batch of designers, we just want to mention a project that we're very excited yes. about, Ali, that's coming up. <laughs> very, very excited. Right? As we speak, we're already preparing for Illustrata 100, which is going to be launched on the first week of January. Mm -hmm. So... And this is our fifth? This is our, our fifth, fifth. Uh, fifth edition of Illustrata 100. If you know of any Filipinos who have elevated the Filipino community, and this is very specific, elevated the Filipino community, please do share the information with us and we'll take a look if uh, we can share their story. Yeah. yeah? You want to mention something about Illustrator 100? Are we going? Are, are we announcing it now? No, we're not announcing it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you know anybody, right? Please do share the information with us. The mm. keyword is elevate. They should have have. Uh, they should have elevated the Filipino community. Mm -hmm. In any way, um, through fashion, through the the community work. Um, through entrepreneurial excellence in whatever category they're playing in or they're you know um, you know doing worthy things mm -hmm. so please do share that know, with we'd us we'd love to hear their stories yeah I feel like it's frantic energy right here right <laughs> now because people are coming in people to are our party coming in. I can't wait to see their outfits we're gonna be seeing yeah. their outfits everybody's gonna be walking on the runway tonight so now we want to show you the Filipino designers who are the experts in accessories
So those are Filipino designers who are really tops in their you know field of accessories. Of course, mm -hmm. Rafa Tutenko has been there in the U.S. for quite some time now, and a lot of people mm -hmm. know about him. We love Neriku, who does these uh, custom-made shoes, and we've seen a lot of his work on the runway and also. very intricate and artistic designs of Hermin Yutan. Oh, they're art pieces, definitely. Yes. Definitely art pieces. And yeah, we have other um, you know designers like uh, uh, Rosemary Almeida Oamil, Oamil, Mele and Marie, who was here for, for the index show in the World Trade Center. Wow, yeah. excellent. The world is so small, right? Of course, Amina, uh, like you said earlier, Amina Aranas and Bea Valdez mm -hmm. from the Bettina Philippines. Bettina Ocampo also from the Philippines. Ken Samudio with his art pieces. Malu Romero of Joanique, Miriam Batara. And of course, Helena Alegre, who has been exhibiting also in Southeast Asia. And we have Rita Nazareno of Zacarias 1925, also amazing mm -hmm. bags. And let's not forget Adante Leyesa from the Philippines. From the Philippines. I do love the, the colorful accessories yeah. that they have. It's quite different. It's very, very distinct. So Filipino design is really very varied, but at the same time, it has that flavor of the Philippines, mm -hmm. right? So those are our designers. Once again, we're going to be uploading their profiles later on. And uh, we're going to be showing you some very interesting photos of Filipino models. There are a lot of actually Filipino models yeah. who are working around the world and also fashion photographers. So we're going to show them now. Jazz Club. <laughs> Okay. 
there. Yeah, we're just starting with some of our friends tonight, guys. But once again, thank you so much for. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us for the last 13 years, and you know, we have so much more fashionable years to come. Thank you, guys. Come on, Mr. Rodney. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Just hey, like that. <laughs> And there you go. And there you go. And Thank you guys Thank you for so joining much. us. We're Thank gonna party you. now. Bye. Good night. <laughs> bye bye.